All right. There we are. Hi, everybody. So Hi, thanks for joining. In my group, Nora's group, and on my YouTube channel. Oh, look at that. I even got like a, a thing here. Hold on, let me take this off. Hello, okay. world. We're still working on becoming technically savvy, but we'll get there eventually. Yes. Maybe yes. when we're 50. <laughs> <laughs> doing uh, my eye primer because I always prime my eyes even before like that's the first thing that I do after my skin prep so I already moisturized you know cleansed moisturized and now I just have my eye primer on because we're going to do a makeup look we're going to do I put in the description I guess it's Valentine's it could absolutely be Valentine's Day inspired however oh hi Brittany Hey, Brittany, so thanks for joining. I can't see who's joining. I think Lisa can see, but if we miss your comments, please leave comments and we will uh, respond once the show's over. Um, we had so much fun doing this last time. We just want to keep um, playing with makeup and having fun and showing you all the benefits of Saint. Yes. All right. So I could tell that it's Brittany through YouTube and then on Facebook, it just says Facebook users. So whoever says hello, if anybody that's on Facebook, just let us know if you would, uh, who you are. And so that way I could address you directly. <laughs> Alice, oh, it's Alice, I love Alice. Hi, hey, Alice. Alice. She's okay, so gorgeous. So, so as I was saying, so we're doing the, uh, what I said in the description was Valentine's Day inspired, but, really this is kind of like our jam in in the winter it's like very mm -hmm. much our winter colors that i it fall fall and winter i would say so it could for be sure funny. but you know inspired yeah. by strawberries and chocolate yes. by february by the season um i was telling lisa it could be valentine's galentine's or just if you celebrate the day after valentine's day and the 50 percent off candy like me yeah I, mean, I have a sweetie, but that. you know, it's a Hallmark holiday. So we just, you know, enjoy the candy at least. Discounts. <laughs> exactly. Because when I saw that, I was like, that is really cute. But I, I named it Sweet Treats and Chocolate Covered Strawberries Makeup Tutorial. I have tea. What are you drinking? Oh, you know, I set up everything and I forgot to grab my drink. So I'm going to drink with you in spirit. Oh, do, <laughs> were you going to have a cocktail? This thing is still too hot. I had some um, Prosecco in the fridge from Ooh. Thanksgiving that I never opened. Oh, that sounds really good. So okay. maybe I'll just save it for brunch. So let's see. Let's see. I am going to. Okay. Well, first of all, we were talking about chocolate covered strawberries. I'm going to be doing the more strawberry version. And I've got my palette. Of course, we're doing the, it's the Saint 3D cream based foundation. And I have the bigger palette, so does Nora. However, you can always get smaller for anybody that's new that's joining. Uh, you could also get any size palette that you want. You could even get these smaller ones. I am partial to the eights, but you could get a four. That's the one that Nora has. And your basic four shades is what makes up your three-dimensional 3D foundation. So that consists of your highlights, which are traditionally foundation, and contour, which is also foundational coverage. So I am going to set up my base and start doing that so you can see like what I'm doing like as we chat. And then this is my bigger palette. So my second tier, I have my colors. Here's Scarlet and Nude. So pretty. Nude, I just have had like a newfound love affair with Nude again because it was all, I always loved it. Even before, um, like one of my first shades that I ever bought was Nude and I loved it. And then I, really? you know how it is, you put it, you start like experimenting with everything else. And I used it the other day. Oh, my God. I mean, it yeah. feels like such a nothing shade, but I love it. And my skin tone, and probably, I feel like on many skin tones, it's almost like a like a pink, like a neutral, like bronzy pink. Mm. And then Those colors look great bronzer. on you, too, when you oh, decide to mix them up. And with me, I, uh, I do use nude, but I still don't feel like it's my perfect nude yet. But I'm still also working on my undertones and stuff. I mean, we do obviously have great matches in our Saint Foundation makeups. Um, I like to mix a color called Hazel. And the other day, I mixed it in with a little bit of amber. I usually put amber under my eyes or Athens under my eyes. But um, I mixed it in with my, my colors on my cheeks, on my main shade. And I thought it was 
closer to a perfect match for mm -hmm. sure. It's not as warm. Yeah. But that's the benefit of Saint, right? You get to play like a makeup artist and you get to play with your friends. Yes. Lisa and I have been friends forever since we were nine years old. Yeah. And um, I'm 48 and we're both 48. Mm -hmm. And I mean, this has given us the best excuse to hang out and uh, play with makeup again. And I don't expect anyone to want to look like me, but I will tell you, I want you to feel like me when I put this makeup on for sure. That's awesome. Yeah. That's so true. Mm -hmm. Cause I have to say that, I mean, there's something about this makeup system. And like you said, everything, you could always experiment. I have customers that do that and they tell me, they're like, you know, I'm having so much fun figuring out my combo and it changes on different days, depending yeah. on, you know, cause our skin tones, discolorations could change on any given day. And it's nice to have everything like right here. And right. you've got, you know, you're, you, you end up knowing your face even more like as you use this and exactly what you're looking for, exactly what kind of finish that you want. So yeah, absolutely. It's great. I'm going to start priming. I'm okay. going to do, here's my, I have balm. I like So you. this is the same balm it used to be in a smaller tin. This is also, you can put this in your palette. Like I love having this. I have it in my purse palette as well. So I always, it was generally, I think originally what they said was, yeah, when that when it came out, I think it was last year. I was always using balm because, or not this balm, but just a you know. And I balm. love our balm. I'm in love with it. Yeah, I've been using it as my moisturizer for my whole face. I have already gone through my new tin I was because I have to such. Say dry dry skin you know i've been struggling with dry skin this season i mean i struggle with it all the time but this season in particular i've been getting you can tell my face is red because it was so dry and um i've just been <laughs> digging in been and putting it on yeah. my face and it's been amazing i mean my skin hasn't looked better to be honest it's so. really nicely you know so mm -hmm. i don't have to like you know but then once you get to the point you know you might have to dig into it but <laughs> but right now it spreads really nicely i only do a very thin layer and i am on the drier side of course oily skin can wear this makeup however you'll your prep will look different you know just like how it is with traditional makeup but i've been loving this balm not only for my under eyes but during the winter months, I've been putting it on my cheeks and it is incredible. It does have a skincare ingredient in here, which is squalane. And squalane is biomimetic, meaning that it, it we this is like usually skincare products have like a synthetic form of squalane. Squalane is already inherent in the makeup of our skin, like in the lipid complex of our skin. So that's why it works so well. Like how jojoba oil very closely mimics the sebum, the oil in our skin. So that's mm -hmm. why it just works really well, like as an ingredient in skincare and um, and for moisturization and everything. Now this though, I have to say also what I found after I do that on my skin, I'll take, and I've been using this on my flyaways <laughs> and it's been working. <laughs> you know that me, shit. I have the all flyaways. these flyaways all the time. Yes. And I, I look like I'll double dip, okay, I'll do it with like, my it. other finger. You know what I mean? You just so I'm not getting but Get it really out of here. such a difference okay and so i guess i'm gonna have to go you buy a truckload of this stuff and it's convenient because you have it in here and mm -hmm. the jvn products the remember the hair products that you know because yes. that's another thing too i have to make a post about it in my group actually because it has literally transformed my hair and mm. it's a recommendation from my sister who's our hairdresser and yes. it is incredible and his main ingredient, John Ben Ness, because he's the hairdresser, his main ingredient is squalane in those hair products. And I'm it's telling meant you, to be. literally, like, look it. Meant to be. <laughs> yeah, I'm telling you, it's incredible. Okay. So let me start. Jeez. <laughs> you know, see, this is this is why I've been having to do like voiceovers in my um tutorials, because then I start to go like go off on tangents. All right. So, so I'm gonna do color correcting with. Athens. This is usually my summer shade. And now you, you'll get to see like the mixing situation. Candlelit is my main shade. In the summer, I'm any variation of this. When it's deeper in the summer, I'm more Athens than Candlelit. But because mm -hmm. I have them side by side, I could mix right. and match. And the color correction, my under eyes aren't that bad today. That is literally like the bane of my existence has been my under eyes like forever. But now yeah. that I'm getting older, it gets worse, you know. Right. Thanks, Bong. 
So while Lisa does that, I was using our uh, Demi product, which is a wax-based color correcting system that we use. I've got a couple of really well-worn tins here, and I use a color called um, R03 and OY1. I combine them because I have... I have so many beautiful colors going on underneath my eyes. I mean, it's, I have blues and greens and browns under there. So these two colors in combination for me work well. So like the uh, red orange level three is going to work to cancel out any greens or blues. And then the yellow is going to work to counteract any purples and just with that alone, I hope you can tell that there's already a huge difference in my eyes. Now, Demi product is meant for as a spot corrector, but because I feel like I have like this whole section of my under eye that really needs to be corrected, I use it in a larger swath. I swath it under my eyes and get it down even to the orbital bone at times when I'm feeling extra tired. I don't know about you, Lisa, but um, being 48 comes with its great share of fun and um, nights of insomnia. Mm hmm. Yes, exactly. <laughs> oh, man. And that's where the puffiness so comes from. You know, so definitely mm -hmm. I do struggle with that. Right now, as you can see, what I was doing is I put my contour on. If you're when you were listening to Nora, you saw in the other window, I am. This is my jawline. I never contoured before ever. I always saw it. Me neither. Much. It would look dirty and probably with certain powder probably is less forgiving than this cream makeup. So now that I started doing it with this, oh, my God. Oh my god! But I thought I'd look like Grace Jones. I'm like, I don't want to look like Grace I Jones. I don't know how to Grace kid. Jones, right? But I don't know how to wear that makeup. Exactly. Can you imagine exactly. going to the jewel looking like that? I can't. <laughs> so, like I said, the contour is foundational coverage. Now, because I put this contour here, I don't have to layer foundation on top. That will cut down on texture, and as we get older, mature skin, it actually is more beneficial to have something that's very light, but you still get your coverage and you still have the finish that you want, that glowy finish to the skin, but not having to layer on top on, you know, like like a layered cake, you know what I mean? Like a seven layer cake and keep adding things. That's traditional makeup. For some people, it totally works. For me, it was, it was not working anymore. Water-based foundation is like nay-nay, like never again. I can't use it. Oil-based, something oil-based or cream, you know, so I have to. What's that? Oh. Like pull it. My makeup clip that my sister got me. Oh, <laughs> Gotta get me out of my way. So here, so this is foundational coverage. So now that's the only layer I have to put here. And I will have the three-dimensional look, 3D. Mm -hmm. like I was saying before. So I think that's one of the the makeup lessons that we didn't learn growing up is that your face naturally has all of these colors and it's not necessarily the end game to bring it all to one base color mm -hmm. because we have hills and valleys and shades and shadows you want to work with those you don't want to necessarily bring everything to the same to the front and then work back again with your uh layers of makeup that adds texture and con and a consistency that's not really going to be uh, conducive to an all-day look either because then you know your natural oils in your skin or your skin is dry and then it's just a, a hot mess. With cream makeup, completely different. Completely different. It's changed me for sure. Thank you to Lisa, by the way, who turned me on to it. And now I'm addicted. <laughs> it, feels, it feels awesome. I mean, look, how many look, it looks of like you have a jawline again? Right? Look at that. Well, I'm still <laughs> working on it. Um, <laughs> How many people can say that their, you know, significant other is noticed, you know, or their close family members have noticed, you know, That's or awesome. anything like that? Like, it's not every day that your mom's like, wow, your makeup looks nice. What? I know. Marilyn? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> She's kind of a tough crowd. Like, my sister is a tough crowd. And just right. the same thing too. She's totally like, wow. And one thing that I really like is that a lot of times it's more complimentary to your skin. Not even necessarily like the makeup looks nice, but then also your skin. Like I've been getting compliments on that. And I'm like, oh my God. For sure. For sure. Absolutely. I think that it's uh, because of the cream based foundation <laughs> and contour. 
It I just really see, yeah, she's like, and skin. Mary knows makeup, lol. Unless that's that's that might be Nicole. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> she did back in the bumps. <laughs> I know they had such pretty makeup back then, and she had the Kevin O'Conn book all over the <gasps> house and stuff. Oh my god, does she still have it? No, I doubt it. Probably went out with my Encyclopedia Britannica. No. Okay. So here's my powder. I like the, so my eyeshadows is what I'm going to use. And then the second tier, I have the vanilla dust setting powder. And you can use, I, I just powder my eyelids, but say you were oily, you could definitely powder anywhere else that needs it. But on my eyelids, I always do because I put the highlight, put my eye primer, put my highlight as the primer as well for my eyeshadow. And then I powder with the vanilla dust. And I generally don't have to powder under my eyes like this makeup does stay put. Mm -hmm. Not an issue. And of course, like you're putting it on, this is something that Nora or I will help you with. You'll see on the bottom here, we got the banner with my text service number and Nora's as well. And that's the easiest way to get in contact with us or just message us on, on Facebook. If you're on YouTube, same same thing. Um, that's our, our number. That's like the easiest way to get in contact with us. And then we'll talk about your color match because this is all going to be customized to you, even down to the contour shades, like the different, you know, we, we take a look at all of that stuff and we find out how you want to wear your makeup. Because also not only how you want to wear your makeup, but the things that you want to minimize, enhance and color correct. Correct. Very so important. some of us don't want to cover everything up. Like I you can't tell in this lighting, but I naturally have freckles. If you go if you're on my page, you know that I naturally have freckles and that um I don't always like to cover them. And so um, you know, having a makeup that works with what you want to do with your skin and what you still want to enhance and and what you still want to um sh let shine through has been great too like i said i've always used to use really flat makeup and then layered it and then was just never really 100 percent happy with the way it looked and this way with saint all you have to do is submit a um makeup free selfie and you'll be in front of a natural light source send it to us and we will get you matched right away and then once that's taken care of the beauty is you get to play with the, all the colors right you can get um you can pick from so many lipsticks lip stains um lip and cheeks eyeshadows i mean the possibilities have been endless and your selfie is 100 percent private you see us yeah. in our groups all the time we're always barefaced no one's gonna see yours <laughs> So we're, yeah. always, you know, so we're, we have no problem, you know, sharing that because we just absolutely love, that's another thing too, like the confidence booster that this has been, which I did not expect, which I already had, you know, we already had you know, confidence, but right. there's something about this that's even more, maybe it's because we're like showing our bare, bare faces and we normally wouldn't before. Maybe that's what it is too. That could be you know, it. And the makeup, like the transformation, like showing, right. you know, like what it does. I just put on my bronzer. I mean, come on, let's show it off, right? Yeah. <laughs> so this is the bronzer. I just did one side of my face just so you can see. That's another thing too. I was never a bronzer girl. So this was is just the contour, very, very light. You don't have to go super Grace Jones and, you know, super chiseled with your contour. So this is enough, but it's still giving me a little shape. But then this right. is, you put this on where the sun naturally hits. And I was never a bronzer girl. I love Bella Bronzer. I use the other shades that we have because, again, based on your color match, people that are way fair or people that are not used to bronzer, you could start out with something a little bit, a little bit lighter. Somebody just I asked, mean, do you often use setting powder? For me, only on my eyelids. And what about you, Nora? What do you do? Um, yes, I only use it on my eyelids also i don't necessarily feel the need to put it anywhere on my face it does this is a very fine powder it leaves a nice velvety finish on your eyelids so that you can start your eyeshadow but it's not necessarily for me anyway but if you're oily and you do want to use setting powder obviously this would be the way to go and you can set it where you feel oily i'm not necessarily oily i'm dry i can be oily in my t-zone though Mm, so you could totally use it there too. Yes. yes. So the setting powder is awesome because you have it in here, you know, yeah. so, and you could, like I said, get any size. You could even do this one and you would have your four basic colors on top. On the bottom, you would, you could have your setting powder, maybe, mm -hmm. the, you know, the bronzer, illuminator, whatever you want, a right. couple of demis, you know, so you could, right. you could configure this however you want, which is really nice. So it's all to, fully customizable. To Lisa's point, um, we do have 
a color called Bella Bronzer that is pretty universal for a lot of shades. And, but um, I personally like Heat Waves, which yeah. is, I mean, when you look at it, it's very intimidating. It's It's got almost kind of a red base to it. It's this bottom one here. And I mean, a little goes a long way. Trust me, the first time I, I stuck my finger in it, I was shocked. But um, I naturally get red in the sun. And so to me, this bronzer kind of mimics the way I look in the summertime. The other colors for me just were a little muddy and I use them for other things. So I will use maybe Bella on my eyes or, uh, you know, enhancing maybe, yeah, you know, other areas. So, or sometimes I've used it on my lips too. Yes, she's Nora's a master mixer, I call her, because she makes she comes up with like beautiful <laughs> lip combos and yeah, just like throwing everything on. Now, heat waves, I gotta say, I can even wear heat waves. And I'm literally like a lot more fair, you could tell, than than Nora. But I you this makeup is super forgiving and you could mix and match, tone things down, mix like your bronzer with whatever. And the way that you put it on, you know, I love having that like reddish tone more so than mm -hmm. the neutral bronze of Bella sometimes. So Correct. I use heat waves as well. Or yeah, so it's really great that you can do that no matter what your skin tone is. And that's the part of, you know, playing like with it. So I've had my base done probably for the past five minutes. <laughs> I'm just like messing around, you know, but everything's <laughs> like finished already. So I just put right. a little bit of brightening. I wish that the lighting was a little bit better. I hope it's coming across. It's kind of hard to see because we're using stream StreamYard yeah right now. so and the uh facebook comments I, of course we're going to go back and we're going to take a look at the facebook comments on Thank you you so know, much. Our groups and uh and then we'll be able to also because i'm any questions here like we'll address them but then i'll be able to know like who it was because <laughs> facebook for some reason is just as facebook user and youtube is the only one that shows like who it is but um yeah weird I don't know. We're getting there, folks. Yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> so as you can tell already, so Lisa and I have just started with our base, but I mean, we've already looked a world of different without looking cakey. Okay. Oh, sorry. I've got my my contour there. That was totally Grace Jones. Speaking of Grace Jones. Um, but... <laughs> it's good though because it's like more snatched. <laughs> It is. Lord knows I need that lately. Oh, my God. All right. So Speaking now I guess I'm at the point where I could do my chocolate covered strawberries. Like, well, at least the strawberry portion, because that's what I was going to do with the cheeks. So right now I only have bronzer and I have scarlet. This seems like super, super crazy, intimidating. It is super red. It's beautiful. I mean, it is. It's this looks stunning. like a 1940s red. It does. It's me. stunning. It really is gorgeous. I really thought that maybe it was going to be a little pinky and that, you know, it wasn't going to give that beautiful blue base to red that yes. you usually see. But um, I'm wearing it in that promo picture for this event mm -hmm. and I love it. It's really great. Yeah. And it's long lasting, too. It's easy to put on. It's long lasting. You don't really get the feathering. It's wonderful. And I feel like I'm going to sneeze and I hope I don't because I'll blow the house down. <laughs> All right, so let's see. This is, I gotta go slow. So I'm gonna mix it with nude. Okay, so I'm just going like a little slow. And that's another thing too, is I like to keep my blush placement high. Mm -hmm. So you always hear like the two finger uh, finger rule here. Oh, what's that rule? Uh, here, the two finger rule so you don't get like two, you know, like Sarah Jessica Parker, like for some reason, like her blush is always like here. Like, you know, like I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, kind of oh. like Stuart from Mad TV. And then um, I don't know. I don't know. It just it's some people they look really cute with it closer, but the older that we get, I feel like also like if you do the apples of your cheeks and then like you your face like settles, it ends up like dragging the face down. So it I does. like to keep my blush placement higher. Nice. That's a good advice. I've been doing that myself lately and it's made a world of difference, like bringing it into my temple and stuff. It's been amazing. So while Lisa's doing that, I, and you know, there are no rules in art and there's no rules in makeup. So you can put your makeup on however you'd like. I That's usually true. go to my eyes next. And so, um, I'm going to try and do like a chocolate, chocolatey look. I really did not drink. I swear. I just don't know how to talk. Um, and today, uh, what I thought I was going to do is I'm going to 
go with Leo and Coco and Hot Chocolate and Golden Eye. So I'm going to play with those four colors and uh, just kind of do a nice little beautiful, subtle, glammy look on the eye. So, but this is us having fun. This is how often can you say that you can hang out with your friends and play with makeup and show other people how much you love it and how good it looks and how it makes you feel. So um, I've been a saint artist for coming up on uh, nine months now. And I have been so excited to share it with you all. And again, it's not even because I think you want to look like me. There's a billion other makeup artists like makeup is having its time now right everyone is all over the place you can look at you can look for makeup influencers left right close your eyes they are there but this one makes me feel great it makes me feel very put together very natural i can glam it up i can make it simple and i still feel like i'm looking my best every day so here, this is nude and scarlet. So you see how like crazy that color Ooh, looks? Pretty. But then when I put it on very, very lightly, and now on this side, I haven't blended it out yet, but look at like the stark difference between those two. It does kind of look like chocolate and strawberries a little bit, but it's a little bit more pink, like a little pinky nude. <clears throat> I love the ombre look. I'm not sure if a lot of people even know about that or, you know, try to do that when they're at home, but try it out. It is such a great look when you can have a pop of color and bring it up. Um, amazing. I I often mix my my cheek colors as well. Again, you know, I'm I've I've always loved makeup. I'm not a makeup artist, but I've always loved makeup and learning new ways to apply cream-based makeup. This makeup is 80% pigmented, not like anything that you can find in the stores that are typically 18 to 20% pigmented. 80% pigmented. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now, look at that. It's totally David Bowie. But I will show you, like in terms of cream makeup being forgiving. So this side, you could also, now these brushes, of course, are made to work with the cream foundation. So now I just went with the other side, the larger side of the blush and bronzer brush and kind of sheared it out a little bit more, toned it down. And then also, if you go a little overboard, you could also go back tiny bit, tiny bit of your cream. If you kind of went, you know, you need to clean something up. It's very easy to do very forgiving it's not like certain powders it would be a huge mess if you tried to go back in and correct something and especially over water-based foundation something that would set like too much like more of that shellac set now some people love that stuff hey you know it's your prerogative but i don't know my feeling on mature skin and especially me the reason why i even got into this in the first place is i just was not feeling that finish anymore i i can't i can't do it <laughs> i just can't Okay, so and you've here, always had great skin, you know, and that's one well, of the important you. things. Obviously, skincare is very important to to um, feeling youthful and looking youthful, getting your hydration in, getting your vegetables in, and you know, no matter what, if you have bad skin, it doesn't matter if you buy the most luxury brand of makeup. Sure. You know, it's not like look. I, I often, I keep saying this on my videos, but like, I'm just a regular lady. I totally feel like that guy that used to do movie reviews in the Chicago uh, radio. He was like, hey, I'm a regular guy. And he would like oh, oh totally review. Yeah, I love him. And I feel like that's who I am, but for makeup. I really am. Obviously, we're from Chicago. That was really easy for me to slip into that character. <laughs> um <laughs> But I mean, we're here to show you that like from opposite ends of the spectrum, right? Lisa is an esthetician. She knows what she's doing. She's she's a makeup junkie. She's got a closet full of makeup. And, you know, I'm a regular lady who's tried makeup and and just like I would get what I get and, you know, just run through it because, oh, another thing is affordable. Hallelujah. I mean, That's true. Look at I don't That's live cool. in an exotic mansion. Those are my plants. Oh, I don't this apartment's cute. It I is but one nice. Mm -hmm. But you know, this is fun. Yes. This is so fun. It is very and affordable. It's sixteen dollars for one of these tins for anybody that is you know interested. Uh if you were to get 
four colors and one brush, that would be $111. But the thing is, you know, because a lot of people are like, oh my God, that's your entire face. You could get a couple of eyeshadows or use your existing eyeshadows, you know, for your like your full look. But for your base makeup, the four basic colors and one brush is what will get you started. Now, you look at these tins and people are like, oh my God, it's going to be gone in a week. But because of that extreme pigmentation that we were talking about and because it's cream based, one of these tins on average, like the highlight tins, which is what your foundation is and concealer, anywhere from three to six months, it could last. Mine, it's usually about four or five mm -hmm. and I do wear it every day. So there's people that don't wear makeup every day and that would last even longer. Your contours are going to last longer. They're more dense. You saw, you probably saw like when I went into it, you have to kind of pounce. Everything else, you only tap, never swipe. Only tap and it's going to be enough, you know, for your entire face. And those last considerably longer. Same thing with your bronzer and your lip and cheeks. Forget it. You know, like you're literally just dapping because you're so pigmented. Now, another thing too is shelf life that I always want to let people know. This shelf life for these, these are longer because it's... It is not water-based. There's no water content. Usually uh, foundation is like, what is it? 12, anywhere from 12 to 16 months after opening the bottle. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then, and then, you know, you could have, I mean, you know, it could harbor bacteria and all that stuff. Now cream makeup, as long as you're storing them properly, I mean, just a cool dry place, whatever, just in your palette, in a drawer, don't expose it to excessive heat, you know, so they don't melt all over the place. You're doing that. I mean, they'll last a long time, a long time. I've had some things that are over a couple of years old. They perform exactly the same as they did from the first day. So, mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, I can I can attest to that. My makeup has lasted a long time. Uh, my eyeshadows have fallen once or twice. Oh, <laughs> yeah. So some have gone to the graveyard of eyeshadows, but with as with all eyeshadows, you can fix it with a little bit of alcohol and get that back in there. But some never re <laughs> I've had a few accidents. I'm clumsy. Yeah, they're they definitely um in another dimension. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna do my eyes now. So now so what I wanted to do for the chocolate strawberry. No, what did we say? Chocolate covered strawberry. So kiss is the shade of the month for February. And I'm obsessed. Make, yeah, oh Nora, that's her favorite. That's like her number one favorite of all time. So now with kiss. I've already done a couple of posts. Uh, Amanda, the girl I signed up with, I we we teamed up teamed up because we have different skin tones, so we love to to kind of show what certain shades, whether it's lip and cheeks or uh, eyeshadow colors, look on our skin tones. So I have a post on that on Facebook, so you'll be able to see this color in action. But we figured we wanted to feature this as well today, mm -hmm. so because it is going to be available for the whole month of February, and I am going to start with the transition. So this is Havana, this is Stay Golden. Cupcake is my ride or die favorite magic eraser color to blend seamlessly, and then I'm also going to use a cream shadow under Kiss, and this is Spiced from Saint. Nobody ever talks about the cream shadows from Saint. People don't really aren't really into cream shadows because they probably feel like it's going to crease. If if you wear it by itself, perhaps, especially if you have a hooded eye. But I just put the shadow on top, and I don't have that issue because it'll set it, and it also punches up the actual color of the shade yes. of the eyeshadow, the powder. Yes, you saw the other day when we were speaking that I had used Sapphire, which is a blue cream oh, eyeshadow. Yeah. And then I put Junior Prom over that, which is kind of a blue gray glittery color on top. And I'll post that in a couple days. But it's it's such a great combination. It was beautiful, absolutely stunning. And while she's doing that, um, I went ahead and did uh, I put uh, Leo, then I have cocoa, and I put hot chocolate. And then I put golden eye on top of it, and it's giving a beautiful, like a rose gold look, kind of. I hope you could see it. Mm, I'm not sure if you can, but it's stunning. It's absolutely stunning. It's a beautiful nighttime little glow look, and we'll post pictures after as well. Um, I don't know if you noticed, but I had a technical difficulty. I had my light on, and then it turned off. Oh, I, oh, I was. So that's why it's a little dark. I still can see you though. Good. Did, yeah. Did it so, both go out? Yeah, I had two mirrors. Um. Oh. So, 
Yeah, this is uh, the look that I thought would be great. While she's doing her eyes, I will show you what I wanted to do with my lip and cheeks. So Lisa knows this about me, and many of you do that if you're already on my page. But if you're not on my page, I'm obsessed with lip and cheeks. Obsessed. Mm -hmm. Obsessed. And so um, I, our lip and cheeks, we run the gamut of uh, glosses to semi gloss to satin looks and I mix and match all day every day and I love it it's something that uh, brings me such a great joy you know sometimes a good cup of coffee brings you great oh. joy sometimes the right color mix brings you great joy and um, today I'm gonna try something new I thought maybe I'd start off we were talking about um, using your contour or your bronzer in other ways and i usually like to use my contour as a lip liner sometimes so i'm going to start by using my indigo contour to line my lips and don't worry i'm not going to leave it like that but it's going to be the start of hopefully something lovely <laughs> oh your eye shadow looks great yeah so this is the cream shadow so this is spiced. Ooh, so I, I only know. have stay golden and spice just on my lid. So right now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put kiss on top of it. Uh, do you find the lip colors less long or do you need to reapply often? You know, that's a that's fantastic long. question. Mm -hmm. Me personally, what I like to do is a lot of times what I like to use stains. And this one is a Korean brand. I think it's called Kim Muse. I love these. and basically the stain will just keep it this one's kind of like more of a reddish pink color and then i'll put the lip and cheek on top and then it'll last for hours as long as i even if i'm eating or um drinking for sure like if i'm at a cocktail party and having hors d'oeuvres obviously a full-on meal then i would have to reapply but that's just me what do you say nora same i usually put on my makeup in the morning right before i go into the office and I'm really good most of the day, unless I'm like, you know, we have a big meal or something. But um, most of the time it lasts me all day. I do reapply maybe once and not even a heavy application, just kind of a little in the middle. If you're drinking water all day or something, just a little, you know, speckle here. But that's it. I don't, yeah, I, awesome. it's long lasting for me also, especially mm -hmm. when I line with something more dense, like the one of the contours. Like See, I'm doing. Now I haven't done that. I'm going to try that today. So I'm going to try and do that because they are more dense. So I want to see what that is like for me if I get into the habit of doing that and see if it lasts longer without me having to put that stain. Because the stain, all it is, is really, it's like a, you know, they're very thin. It's almost like a, oh, like liquid. And then you put it on and then it just stains your lips and it'll stay like that for hours. And then I put the lip and cheek actually alters that color. It's actually just the color of the lip and cheek, but that's what I've been mm -hmm. doing. And uh, let's see, oh, now I'm gonna go on with Kiss. So let's see what happens. So now I'm, I'm gonna do watch. it with my finger. You gotta watch, cause it's so beautiful. Yeah, so this is, I'm just gonna go on my finger. Let's see if I could do this to where you'll be able to see. So this is going to make it, I'm curious to see what this is gonna look like. If I altered it too much, let's see. Hopefully not. Because I like bronze. Here, it looks like a peachy bronze. Because normally, this is more of a peachy gold. Mm. I don't know if you could tell. Oh, it's, kind of it's like a peachy, Yeah, like a peachy bronze. And I was just thinking, you know, because it's chocolate-covered strawberries. Mm-hmm. Same. So Lisa's using a color called Scarlet, which is uh, and what she used on her cheeks. That was a more satin color. I'm using Pop, which is, as you can see, it's a gloss color. Mm. And look, don't be intimidated. It, it looks really saturated, but on your lips. And I put this above, uh, on top of the indigo liner, and it just gives a nice little beautiful deepened look. I was going to mix that with my other new favorite obsession. I, I got to stop saying I'm obsessed with everything because I am obsessed with everything. Um, well, the obsession shift. You know what I mean? They start to like shift and then, and then you know, the real good ones come back around. Oh, that looks really pretty. I have pop. I should be wearing that more often. 
And then I'm going to actually put desert sand sunset on top of it just to give it a a little bit of a sheen. Desert sunset is my new favorite kind of all day every day peachy corally. Mhm. Mm Look here. I've got way too many lipsticks. Said no one ever. <laughs> I'm putting the cream shadow on my lower lash line, a little bit smudged on the outer corner. And again, this is spiced cream shadow. And now the other part of my chocolate portion is Philly. And I'm going to do that on the outer corner and my lash line. So this is kind of like a cocoa brown. Yeah. Yeah. Like a, like a cocoa brown, I would say, like a hot mm -hmm. chocolate almost. And yes. That's a, that's a real good one. It is. It's a little warmer than cocoa. Yes. Um, they're both very similar shades, but I, I'll swipe them for you while she's doing that. Um, I just keep going back no. with Kiss so I'm not, like, dampening the, uh, you know, the shimmer and the color, like when I'm putting the other colors around it. So that's Philly. See how it's a pretty warm color? Yeah, I'm going to start incorporating that now. I'm going to use my etch brush. And then I used cocoa, which is a little deeper and cooler, but not by much. Cooler. See? Yeah. They're, they're very close. Very close in color. But look at the saturation, too. They're so blendable. They're so easy to use. Uh, this is the first time that I've used more than two colors in my eyes, too, when I've been using makeup. Um, again, 48, always loved makeup, but Saint has really changed the way that I feel about makeup and how I feel about myself when I wear it, for sure, 100%. So um, as Lisa's putting on her eyeshadows, I missed one of my favorite parts of makeup, and that is my blush. I love blush. I do look like, I do like looking like Stuart from <laughs> SNL. <laughs> like, I'm sorry. I mean, I do. One of my favorites as of late has been Madrid, but I also like to mix it with nude. Yeah, Madrid. So, yeah. That sounds mm -hmm. really good, Madrid and nude. Mm -hmm. Madrid is a beautiful kind of pinky color that comes in the collection. I think Nicole just got madrid in her collection and um hopefully she can comment whether or not she's been loving it yeah and again with the ombre look that's gonna look nice and percent yeah chocolate covered strawberries that's probably one of my favorites i'm not as crazy about chocolate covered cherries as i am about chocolate covered strawberries yeah i think strawberries are the best So there you go. I mean, I know it's taken us 40 minutes to get here, but that's because we're having fun. We're playing, we're talking, we're, we're explaining talking. the product to you, but we're trying to show you that it can be fun to play with makeup again. And it's fun to hang out with your best friend and all your new friends online. And so if you're interested in trying Saint, please, if you're in my group, send me a makeup, makeup less selfie. If you're in Lisa's group, send her your makeup less selfie and we will get you matched right away. This has been so fun for us to do, to meet new people and to make them feel beautiful on the inside as well as on the outside because just like my facebook says you know you have to learn how to boost your own beauty right yep. um and we all have problem areas that we want to work on or cover or highlight or not highlight or hide and um saint has been a great experience for me to learn how to do that and Lisa's making her eyes super chocolatey there. It looks beautiful oh, against your brown eyes. Yeah, it's great. Awesome. I love Kiss. Kiss is Going amazing. into Cupcake. Cupcake is my savior. So anything, like if I go a little overboard. Also, uh, me personally, some people like the shimmery brow bone. I like it more matte. Lighter, but still mm -hmm. matte. You know, mm -hmm. so, but some people, you could put a shimmer there if you want. Drift is a real popular one. Because, um... It's a shimmer, but it's not like a glittery shimmer, you know? So it's very subtle, 
but it gives like a little gleam. It's very pretty. Oh, you know what? I almost forgot. I wanted to try Kiss as a blush topper. Let's do that together. Yeah. So now that I have everything on, and then I put on, I was going to put a little more bronzer. Maybe I won't. Okay. So Kiss is the color of the month. Feb I wore this shirt on purpose because I think it goes well with it. <laughs> but, oh, yeah. Maybe I'm just in my usual black. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but it's a beautiful shimmer color. It's not, it's a beautiful kind of, um, it's a, low spec shimmer right so it's not huge chunks of glitter in it and as you can see it is just got a beautiful golden undertone to it the glitter is a little goldeny and it goes so well with so many skin colors i can't even tell you all right so what i'm gonna do is i have like a powder brush and i could use i could use the blend brush i guess but i have this mm -hmm. one here, you know so i'm just gonna use this and, and it's very small so i could get it in the tin so just making sure that I got it on here. Mm. Yeah. All right. Let's see. And here we are Ooh. demonstrating how it looks so nice on two different colors, skin tones. Lisa and I are obviously, you know, in different worlds in skin tones. Um, I mean, not to mention it's just worlds, but look at that. It's stunning. I if you could see. I'll stay to the side while you're doing it so people could see the wow, sheet. Looks really nice. I yeah. know that's what I'm trying to show. I don't know if you could see the sheen. And then of course it like sets your cream. Like if you want. I always find, you know, that I've been also experimenting with using powders, even powders that I still have in my collection, over my cream makeup, like blush or a highlighter or something like that, because I still love them. And I have to say that because the cream makeup is on as a base, this skin doesn't look like all dry. It, it remains looking supple because of having that, that base of emollients underneath. So that's a bonus, bonus to me. And especially at night, evening, going out when you want to glam it up even more, it, it punches up like the color even, like on your cheeks or what have you. That's very huh? true. I find that, you know. I like this. That looks really pretty, Kiss, with, as a blush topper. I and think it, I'm going to use that more often, too. Yeah, wow, that's really pretty. Okay, now to match this, because I have Havana, what I usually like to do with my eyeshadow, like after I get everything done, I do like a little peekaboo of sorts. I also have my brush cleaning tile on here. That's another thing as, you know, you have like a bigger palette you could customize. And then this is for eyeshadow. I also have a separate one for demi color, And that's also really nice for removing any excess product from the tips of the bristles as you're going into the next color um havana so i'm just gonna get like the edge and then what i usually do is i'll just put it above the hood almost like in between the brow bone like here and it just kind of changes the color a little bit so That's it's gonna nice. give me a little yeah like a little bit more like it's almost like it's matching the kiss i feel like here oh i feel I'm like i'm gonna put kiss on mine to show how that works with my color just okay. to do that one side here just to i didn't show realize that. how versatile this one was going to be you know like i thought because it just looks it looks very orange like you know what i mean almost i don't want to say creamsicle it's not that orange but right you're right like it doesn't like it looks like it would be like oh like it wouldn't be very like that you could mix it with so many things Mm -hmm. that it would be like and, just a standalone and with saint uh we're not afraid to do close-ups with saint we're not allowed to show Good you point. that it's not settling into the skin here's the colors i think you could see them better with the way i've got my lights i've got this beautiful kind of rose gold going on with golden eye and hot chocolate on my lids i've got cocoa wow, and nice. i did swipe that kiss over it and i've got just I'm waiting for my chocolate covered strawberry here. 
Yeah, so I don't know if you could tell. It's kind of, it's so weird. Now, I do have these dents. That's another thing, too, is in terms of color correction, like I'm color corrected, but unfortunately, I do have like these trough areas. So in certain angles, you're always going to see them. But usually, like when I'm more straight on, it could even be the lighting in here. You know, it does look way more minimized, but at least I don't have like the discoloration. This is actually a scar from when I was younger. I have like an indent here. But yeah. I could even go back even and tell. do a little color correction over here. Do a little cleanup. Usually I'll do my eyeshadow first so I don't have any fallout. So, and then with this cream makeup, it's super easy to correct. Right. And voila. And you know, again, we've been on here for 50 minutes now, but mm. Saint usually takes me six minutes to get out the door. I'm right. Not exaggerating, you know, okay, Same. on your days, you're going to do a little bit of glam, maybe 10 or 15 minutes, but, you know, I am basic look to get out the door in the morning, on the weekends or whatever, you've got your, you've got your foundational coverage, you've got your, your contour, your highlight, your brightener, and a lip and cheek, which you use on your lip and your cheek, and you can use it on your eyes, and you can use contour on your eyes, and you're ready to go. I do a couple videos on my page where I do Saint and Six because I show you, and they are sped up, but I promise you, they're all under six minutes. Yes. I definitely do um, a six minute video to show you from start to finish, but most of those videos are less than six minutes even. I was just rounding up to be nice. Oh yeah, in the morning, it's like so, so fast. Yeah. Which color do I wanna use? I'm gonna use this to line my lips, and then I'm gonna do a lip color real quick. What color are you using to line your lips? This is okay. ash because I was using ash as my contour. So I want to see, and please like, you know, I have like the hot flashes. So I have my fan. Welcome to 48, yo. <laughs> so I hope it's not too distracting. I hope it's not making like a whirring, like too much of a whirring noise. But mm -hmm. in the meantime, I'm just going to put on my lip liner. I mean, I, I think about sweat. And I sweat. So, yeah. like, once the temperature is above 62 degrees, here comes the sweat machine. But, I mean, Saint, it's beautiful, it's simple. And I never heard of Saint before last year. I didn't know what it was. Yeah. I was still just going to Target and getting whatever's on the shelf or, you know, um, going to Ulta and guessing. And I had no idea that cream makeup was awaiting me and as you could tell uh we did not use kind of that paint by number system that you probably see other videos using for saint products um to each his own right like that's just maybe maybe it's not the way we learn how to do makeup or you know it's not the way we exactly you know um uh, relate to wearing makeup but at the same time we're still getting this beautiful benefits from using a cream based makeup for sure also, oh, I love that look there. I wanted to say that I had on as a base. This is the lipstick that they had. It was a limited edition. I have to bring this so I could show it to you. And then this is the um, lip oil. I, which they say that this is going to be coming back, which I hope so. And I really hope that they end up making this permanent because this is going to be an extremely amazing companion to the satin lip and cheeks. So this is just a balm, but it's like kind of glittery. It doesn't come off really glittery. It comes off more like a sheen. So I had that as a base. And now I'm going to put on my lip color. So I did my lining and I didn't really overline. It just gave a little bit more structure. Now, what I am going to do is this is an extra spot brush that I had. This is a demi brush. And that's another thing too. You could use these brushes interchangeably. I could even use this as for eyeshadow if I want to. Yeah. For powders, whatever. But I'm going to I use the mine. fluffy end for my lip color and see how that works. Because... Scarlet is so pigmented. I'm going to do a couple of taps in here and see if I start coloring it in. And then I'm also going to go between that and nude. That is my favorite way to put on a darker lipsticks. If I don't want to really necessarily feel like I'm doing a full heavy lip is I'll use my eyeshadow brush, the short mm -hmm. end of the eyeshadow brush. And I will um, put like, let's say a color like love spell or Renaissance and I'll just swipe it on softly. So it just gives that beautiful soft look. And that also lasts a long time too. That, that lasts even longer. I feel like mm -hmm. because we have it on so sheer. So. This is coming out like kind of more pink, almost like a, like a lip stain. Oh, stunning. It is mm -hmm. pretty. 
And I want to see what see... Desert Sunset did to my lipstick. It kind of just Ooh. punched it it's up and brought up a little. It's like a little gold shine in there too. I'm going to use, I'm going to do this with nude too. Let's see what that looks like. Cause that's the nude is almost, it's like a pinky brownie nude, at least on me anyway. Yeah, I love the versatility of all the Saint brushes. Uh, if you'll notice, both, all of the brushes we use today are double-ended. So you get, you know, more bang for your buck. And who doesn't want that nowadays? All right. So that's super subtle. I wonder if you could see. Now oh, let me yes. go on more full on. And then that you could just do like either with your finger or we have a multitasker brush. You probably could use that too, but let's see. Okay, it's really interesting because on you, on me, it comes out way more pink, red. Mm. Oh, I see. Maybe it's because mm -hmm. you mixed it. True. But even when I don't have that nude, it still has like that vibrancy to it. For Ooh, me, I Scarlet. love it. Yeah, it's and really, really nice. And th those of you who don't know that we've been friends for 40 years, like Lisa never wore like dark lipsticks before. Like I was always the dark lipstick wearer mm -hmm. and Lisa always had, you know, more eye makeup or, you know, she was always very like, like um, very light makeup. Yeah. Yes. And that was stunning on you. I love this. It's so pretty. And it is, it, it does, it makes me look at that, like, on me, I feel like it looks like more 1950s cherry red. Mm, which, who doesn't want to look like that, right? Exactly. I love that era of makeup, too. Oh, my god! Beautiful, beautiful. Oh, man. Those red lipsticks were incredible. Ooh. Here's my multitasker brush. And just for fun, I'm just going to go over here. Is this side, let me do my, because there's two sides to this. So, first, I'm going to do the lining over the line that I did so it looks a little bit more crisp yeah uh -huh. and the multi transfer brush is great yeah and you know you can do it either way obviously like if you're doing a stronger eye you want a softer lip if you want a softer lip you do a stronger eye or if you don't feel like packing in a lipstick and you just want to have a softer edges i mean makeup is supposed to be fun makeup is supposed to be an expression of who you are on the inside and uh pick your colors go outside of your comfort zone try new things and it'll give it a little pep to your step all right, now here's the flat side. This is like really nice for putting on the lip color as well. Mm -hmm. That multitasker brush is amazing. Also use it to pack in some of the higher flecked um, eyeshadows. eyeshadows, right? When you just want a very specific placement. And, um, but I also use it a lot for my lipsticks. Thank goodness for the... So this looks more velvet Whoa, finish. Oh, yeah. I think it's the, the brush. Whoa, look at that. That's stunning. Yeah, take lots of pictures. You have to post those. That's gorgeous. Yeah, this looks really, really nice. Oh my God. Va va voom. <laughs> really, really nice. Yeah. Oh my goodness. It's like my newfound favorite. Wow. Wow. Yeah, so, yeah, so this, of course, is Valentine's appropriate for sure. And even, even if we're just going to go buy discounted candy. <laughs> That's true. Oh, my goodness. I can't believe it's going to be Valentine's Day. It's so crazy to me. Like how fast. It was Thanksgiving just Thanksgiving going. yesterday. Get out of town. Yeah. Yeah. It's crazy. And now we're already talking about like summer trips. And it's like, wait a minute. What? Yeah. <laughs> like we're already like talking about this now. So, yeah. yeah. It's crazy. So I think that's it. I think that's yes. like really, really good. And this time we were under an hour, 58 minutes. <laughs> so a little bit under an hour. Down the to the wire. We were, yeah, I think we were like a little bit too, um, 
we went over for sure. The first one was like an hour and a half. The second one was like an hour and 15, I think. So ah, it's we're like getting we're getting, closer. We're getting more succinct, like the, <laughs> the more and more that we do this. But thank you guys so much thank for you. joining. As always, we love doing these together. So definitely stay tuned for more. And yeah, let us know what you think about the looks and what you love, what you're planning on wearing for Valentine's Day or what your looks are right now for like... um you know, for like your winter, like going out mm -hmm. and looks and stuff like that. We would love to know. And love that. Yeah. Yes. Contact Lisa, contact myself with your makeup free mm -hmm. selfie and we'll get you started. And thank you so much for spending your Wednesday evening with us and stay warm. Okay. Bye guys. Bye. Next time.